Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And this is Laughter Day 3. Yesterday we looked at the laughter of Sarah, the laughter of unbelief, the laughter of skepticism. And we said there is nothing too hard for God. So when you think that you want to laugh, uh, just remember there is nothing too hard for God. And this week I keep reminding you Proverbs 20, uh, Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bone. And today I want us to dive deeper on two types of laughter. So yesterday we dived into Sarah's laughter, but today I'm going to take another turn and we are going to talk about another kind of laughter. And this is the laughter I'm calling the laughter of a fool. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes 7 from verse 4, the heart of the wise I'm going to read from Amplified Version. The heart of the wise lands when it is in the house of the morning, but the heart of the fool is senseless in the house of pleasure. And then it says, It is better to listen to the rebuke of the wise and pursue wisdom than for one to listen to the song of the fool and pursue stupidity. Now, listen to this. Verse 6 is very important in relation to what we are talking about. For like the crackling of burning thorn bush under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. And this too is vanity. It is futility. I'm going to repeat that. What, What is the scenario? What is the symbolism of the laughter of the fool? The laughter of a fool, of the fool, is like the thorn, uh, the crackling of burning thorn bushes under a pot. I want you to imagine uh, a burning thorn bushes, the way they make the crackling sound. You know, when you laugh, there is that sound that you make. You, you don't just, if you're chuckling, if you're booming, if you're giggling, uh, whichever way you laugh, there is a sound you make. So I want you to connect that. And this is how the Bible defines the laughter of the fool. It's like the crackling of the burning thorn bushes under a pot. That is how the laughter of the fool is. And the Bible says this too is vanity. And then Proverbs 14, 13 says, even in laughter, the heart may ache. So when people laugh, that doesn't mean that they are happy. The Bible really and clearly says that laughter is not a sign of joy because even in laughter the heart may ache and rejoicing may end in grief this type of laughter the laughter of the fool the laughter of the fool may end in grief it may end in pain because even in laughter the heart may ache and the rejoicing may end in grief and then i want you to see the content where this crackling uh burning thorn bush is happening where this laughter is happening the bible says it is happening in the house of pleasure in the house of pleasure uh in where is this house of pleasure you know in the house of pleasure that time it, it, we can say it might be in a pub like in our day to in our day life today or in a place where there's some some people have just gone to have fun and just spend money and just do what they need to do and the bible says that 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 laughter they laugh is like the burning, the crackling of the burning thorn bushes under a pot. And so I want to just say this. The Bible classifies five types of fools. And I know that this is not about fools. I will find a week where we can learn extensively 
uh how do you to do you qualify uh to 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 be called or to call I, which i don't wanna i i wanna take uh, i i wanna plead the fifth and say i don't wanna say that this gives anybody the mandate to call anyone a fool but the bible gives five classes of fool or five types of fool one is a simple fool the other one is a silly fool the other one is a sensual fool the other one is a scorning fool and another one is a steadfast fool but according to psychology and that's what we are going to use today according to psychology foolish people are self involved overly optimistic regarding their own views and unable to see their own vulnerabilities they assume they already know all that needs to be known according to psychology foolish people are self involved overly optimistic according uh, 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 regarding their own views and unable to see their own vulnerabilities and they assume they already know all that needs to be known nobody can tell them anything they know it all nobody can teach them anything they know it all and the bible says that a fool says in his heart there is no god they know it all and so that kind of a fool is the one we are talking about when they laugh hmm? you try to tell them you know this path you're going on this is a path to destruction and they laugh that laughter is the laughter that is just like the crackling of burning thorn bushes under a pot and that is the laughter you know that is the laughter that is the laughter that may lead to grief and you know sometimes <laughs> even i know i know that many of us have been foolish at one stage in life maybe when you were a teenager when you were a youth ah you were at one time very self involved and overly optimistic regarding your own views and unable to see your own vulnerabilities and you have at one particular time assumed you know everything that needs to be known that is to be foolish and when somebody tries to correct you you have laughed the laughter of the fool and that is the laughter that ends up in grief so i want to give you a warning if you have been laughing this laughter when everybody is saying where where be careful be careful watch out watch out and you are laughing them to scorn you are laughing at them because you think you know best remember even in laughter the heart may ache and rejoicing may end in grief because this laugh for the for like the crackling of burning thorn bushes and a pot so is the laughter of the fool and this too is vanity that laugh is vanity the laughter of the fool you know if we talk about Jesus is coming again Jesus is coming soon repent and you laugh because you think no 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 we still got time you think you know everything ah huh? if at one particular time you think you know everything you assume you know all that needs to be done and uh, to be known that right there that is the criteria to 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 judge whether you have been foolish and if the laugh that is coming out is the foolish laughter and the sound that it makes is the crackling of burning thorn bushes under a pot and eventually it ends up in grief this is pastor lucy painter with your daily insight and this is laughter day 3 shalom <music>